Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 21st, 2023. Well, yesterday we had those bears show up for a little bit. They were flexing their muscles a little. A little. We had a little bit of a scare uh, dropping pretty hard there, suddenly uh, down 300 points. But by the end of the day, the bulls step back in to hold some support levels pushing us back up so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the wednesday edition of the morning market prep video good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here i do truly appreciate it Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, yesterday, obviously, that pullback was a little bit frightful um, for a short period of time, but then we saw those bulls step in. So looking at this chart, there really was no technical damage done in this chart. However, we have that complication where once again, we had broken through this resistance and uh, have una were unable to hold it at least at this point in time now if we were to fall back this trend right here you can see i've been mentioning is pretty steep if we were to fall back to the longer term trend what that would suggest is that we could be bouncing around in this range for a while and why would that be important well we know we're kind of winding up this quarter of earnings we're going to be heading into the next quarter and we have seen this before lately where we as we head into those earnings reports we spend lots and lots of time in choppy consolidations so that possibility that we could end in a range here for a period of time would not be out of the question we'll want to be watching carefully for that possibility because we have extended the market so high if we get any more bearish uh, potential news out there then we certainly could see some pullback not so much here in the dow but in the tech sectors that have been so extended in the short terms but if we look at this chart and just look what happens if the bulls are find inspiration today or if the bears find inspiration today well first off if we um, kind of put aside all of our biases on what we think the market should do or what we want the market should do to do and look right in here if the bulls find inspiration today i would suggest that possibility that maybe we come up here and we fill that gap we see if we can push back up here retesting the resistance of that dark cloud candle here in the diamonds and if we can push through there then we push on up and retest that resistance here in the chart getting through that level would mean a test right up in here now if the bears were fought to find an inspiration in the move let's look for a retest of yesterday's low pushing down into here and if that were to break then we're starting to look at some of these support levels down in here we'll see we can test down in here and if that were to fail maybe we're going to come on down into this area of the chart now keeping in mind even if we were to pull back that much here in the chart really doesn't hurt us at all we've got our um, uh, moving average cluster right in here that could also serve as support and so technically wouldn't hurt us at all if we pulled all the way back to there. Now, certainly it would raise some concern with investors out there seeing that pullback, but technically it wouldn't hurt anything. Now, if we take a look at our SPY, SPY, pulling back yesterday, no harm, no foul here at all in the SPY. Still a very, very bullish chart. I will say, although um, a relatively overextended in the short term this is a quite a stretch here in the spy to the upside very steep on that ascent and you can see if i pull this back we really have that appearance that we went parabolic in that excitement here in the market so that exuberance could get pulled back here and so far 
Pulling back into this support area right in here, I suggested testing the low of that candle yesterday, and we went just a tiny little bit further before we caught a bounce. So if the bulls find inspiration today and push off of this level, then once again, I'm gonna look for a gap fill right in here for a test to see if we can um, break through there. And if we do break through there, well, then we move back up here and we re work to retest that uh, last high here in the market. If the bears find inspiration here today, well, may, I would suggest maybe a pushback down to retest the low of yesterday. And if we lose that, if the, the bears can push through that, then I would suggest a test of this support level here in the chart um, on that breakout. Um, once again, if that were to fail, then we're probably coming down in here to test that level of support in the chart. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Now our NASDAQ, um, the most overextended market out there. And once again, you know, pulling that chart back, you can see just how parabolic that has become in that move. Testing a resistance here, significant resistance in the chart, and then pulling back from there. But yesterday didn't really hurt anything. As you can see, we gapped down ended up putting in a little spinning top doji which means some uncertainty out there in uh, the market so if those bulls were to find inspiration today then once again i'm going to suggest that we push right back up here maybe retest yesterday's high if we can break through yesterday's high then i'm looking for a breakout or a test of this resistance and a possible breakout there on the chart. If the bears were to find inspiration, I want you to notice that there's not a whole lot of price support in here because we went up in such a straight line. And um, if we um, were to break yesterday's low, then I'm suggesting they're really next level of support might be down here. Notice we've got a couple of little tails down here on that top and we could push down into there. If we push through that, about the only place we can go is to come back down into here to test that price support level in the chart. Now, keeping in mind in the SPY and the QQQ, any of those pullbacks don't change any of the technicals here in the market. There would still be bullish technicals um, on those charts. IWM, however, that old IWM struggled here just a little bit yesterday we've got a pattern here it's a pattern that i like to call an oreo cookie and that's where we've got two black candles with a white filling in there and those typically lead to um, a downside move and we got it yesterday we pushed down broke that support temporarily and then pushed back up so i still i'm going to give this up to the bulls because they held that price support by the end of the day but we'll want to watch this pretty closely if those bears were to find um, additional inspiration here and we were to break that support level down in there well just keep in mind that could create a pretty substantial move down to test this level or even go a little bit lower and testing a level down in here. There is that in between right there that's a pretty strong support that we could test if those bears were to find that inspiration. If the bulls find inspiration, and by the way, this is still a bullish chart. There's nothing about this chart that's bearish, but you will wanna keep in mind that right there is a pretty steep upside trend. Not saying it can't continue, but the stronger a trend, the harder it is to maintain that, um, uh, that trend. Notice we had a very steep trend over here. We did poke through that resistance and then it was just all back down from that point. It just got too heavy in that move. So one of the better things that we could probably see here on the SPY is a considerable consolidation. If we were to fall back into here onto this trend, well, you can see that could create a longer term consolidation here in the market. And with earnings coming up, it certainly is possible. Now, um, if those bulls were to find inspiration here to the day, uh, for, excuse me, here today, then let's look for a push back up into here and test some of these levels in here. See if we can push up through some of these candles. And um, of course, if we can break through all of those, then we're back up here testing that resistance in the chart again. Let's take a look at our VIX. Boy, I tell you, the VIX, 
with the huge amount of zero data expiration options trading, which is accounting for sometimes as much as 40, 45% of the total volume of the um, options market, we're seeing some very weird price action here in the VIX. So yesterday with the market sinking, notice here that the VIX showed no fear. Um, we've been seeing this lately when we rally hard, we've been getting fear coming up in the market. When we sink in the market, no fear. Um, it is a very weird circumstance here on the VIX. But if that VIX um, um, were to find a bullish inspiration today, then I would look for a push down to see if we can break below these lows, these recent lows here in the chart. And keeping in mind, when we're down here in these 13 uh, to you know 10 or below handle levels in the VIX, it's showing extreme complacency. So um, this no fear environment is really exposing a opportunity that if the bears were to attack, it could be pretty painful in the market. So just watch carefully for that if that were to occur. If the uh, bears were to find inspiration here today and if the VIX will act, begin to act normally, then I would look for um, a test of that resistance right in there to see if we can um, pop through that area. If that were to, to break, then we start moving up to retest that area of the chart in the VIX. Then let's take a look at our T2122. Our T2122 had a nice little pullback yesterday um, with that big sink. As a matter of fact, it, it was really lingering up here until we had that really hard drop down over 300 points. Um, in the Dow. And keeping in mind, we're right here on the 50% uh, area of T2122. So what it tells us is that we have about an equal shot. Remember, T2122 doesn't tell us which way the market's going to go. It's just an internal uh, measurement of the market showing four week new high, new low ratios. And when we reach really high, um, new high ratios, we look for that pullback, some profit taking to come in the market. When we look for those really low ratios, we look for some bullish action coming in to pick those stocks back up. When we have a market that's right here in the middle, it's really telling us anything is possible and we could have about an equal weighted chance for an upside move or a downside move here in the market. So although we pulled back over 300 points yesterday to reach this area here, then keep in mind, we still have a big potential move to the downside if those bears were to find inspiration. Bulls find inspiration, we've certainly opened up that potential for that relief rally in the market. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now the percentage of stocks holding above their 40 day moving average did pull back yesterday. We're right in there, 59, 60% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average and that's still a very bullish condition here in the market. So no harm yesterday on that pullback. In fact, it just removes some of that uh, kind of over exuberance that we've been seeing here um, in the market. So T2108 still remaining bullish, got some support underneath it right here, some strong support underneath it right here. So no worries if the bears were to gain a little bit more ground on that. If the bulls were to take off and gain some ground, we'll notice we've got some resistance right in here that we'll have to be thinking about. And then once again, we're entering that very overbought or frothy area of uh, the market. If we look at T2107, T2107 also pulled back a little bit, 48, 49% of the stocks holding above their 200-day uh, moving average. As you can see, we've got good price support in here, so no, no break. A video of those price supports um, yesterday, and 
you've got to give this to the bulls. That's all there is to it. They're holding in there. They're holding strong and we're showing a weakness of the bears despite that push yesterday. So if the bears were to push on lower and we were to break these support levels, well, then we start to worry just a little bit. But if the bulls um, find that inspiration today, then let's watch these resistance levels up here. And just keeping in mind as we push up, we're, we're kind of reaching that overbought condition here in the market. We take a look at our T2101. T2101 continuing to sink on that momentum. Volume was a little bit low yesterday um, as we just have that little bit of lack of momentum and I think it's due to the uncertainty of the FOMC and the pending um, um, earnings that will, will an earnings season coming up, just that uncertainty, can we support these current prices with the next round of earnings? Um, keep a close eye on that. What's interesting is it didn't hook yesterday at all. So um, we may still have a little bit, of mo little bit more downside possibility could come into the market. If we take a look at our T, Oops, oops, let's not do that. Let's go to our um, economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, we've got, um, well, an interesting day with not much uh, data so much, um, but a whole lot of Fed speak. We're going to begin the day here with mortgage applications, uh, keeping an eye on those. They've been quite fluctuating. They, last time they were very, very bullish, but they have been um, just all over the map here in those reports so watch that one closely this morning and then after that at 10 a.m eastern time Jerome powell is going to begin his congressional testimony he's got two days of testimony that he's going to be in there first day is always of course the most important because that's where we will find out whether he's going to sound hawkish if he's going to sound dovish um, in that testimony but it's unlikely we'd learn anything new on policy um, out there. So we typically see some price volatility around the uh, around those comments. So just be watching for that. The rest of the day, it's just a parade of Fed speakers. We've got Cook and Jefferson, um, Goodsby um, um, speaking, and then Mester later on in the afternoon, keeping in mind that we have a four-week bond auction and then a 20-year bond auction, which would be more notable to be paying attention to. As we look forward into Thursday, again, Jerome Powell speaking, we're going to hit those jobless claims, Chicago National Fed activity, um, we're going to have um, um, existing home sales in there. Mester will be speaking again. We've got the leading indicators, natural gas and petroleum numbers in there on Thursday um, to try and find some inspiration for either the bulls or bears. And then as we look forward in the Friday, pretty light day again with just a PMI composite flash, um, Baker Hughes rig and um, Mester speaking once again. Um, I think it's her farewell tour. She's about to uh, come off of the FOMC committee. Let's take a look at um, some um, of the stocks that may be um, setting up for earnings today. Whoops. Sorry. That's the starter for the morning blog. Um, let's take a look here. We've got some notables here today. Again, it's pretty light. We're going to hear from uh, KBH today. KBH has been racing to the upside with um, the other uh, builder um, stocks out there. Um, in fact, I will be mentioning a few of those here in just a little bit, but keep an eye on KBH. Very, very bullish chart. Um, if we look at uh, KFY, KFY will be reporting today. This is a nice little pattern in here. Notice we've got kind of that inverted head and shoulders type pattern setting up in here with that higher low possibility and trend right in here. So I would look for a possibility if that's a good earnings report, then we could kick up here in that chart. Um, let's take a look, um, SCS. 
would be another for today. Notice it's been moving in this downtrend, but it's broken through this resistance and trying to put in that higher low. So this will be an important earnings report to find out whether Steelcase can push on through and start making some bullish moves here in the market. And last but not least, we've got um, the old Winnebago out there reporting today. Um, certainly has rallied up strongly, but we ran into a little bit of resistance here. Um, and you can see a fairly strong pullback after smacking our head into that resistance. It'll be an important report today to decide whether or not we're going to come back down and test these support levels and maybe break on lower or if we're going to reverse back up and see if we can get something going here on the old Bago. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could also do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, helps the channel to continue to grow. And just a huge shout out to everyone that takes the time to do that. I know daily videos, it gets boring doing that day after day, but I do truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for everyone who does support the effort for putting out these videos. And then also, uh, just a shout out to those folks that continue to support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link. Hey, before I go any further, I wanna remind everyone, I'm gonna put a link in the, um, the description that's just below the title of the video for our um, open house that will begin tomorrow, Thursday and Friday. I'm going to leave a registration link. Um, it's open for everyone. We're going to talk about um, um, just the common things that are that um, traders are struggling with right now. And um, hopefully we can provide you with some good quality education for Thursday and Friday. Um, it may not be all that exciting in the trading um, the next couple of days, but hopefully we can um, get you um, some help in your trading with some good quality information. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up, and I'm going to do this really quick because I'm running long here today. First off, I want to mention the uh, builders out there, Toll Brothers, um, Polte Homes, um, and then you saw KBH um, reporting today. They have been holding up really, really strong. Fastenal is another where that building sector, this is a material supplier. Take a look at Fastenal breaking through resistance here, pushing to the upside. So any rest or pullback here right now, I think uh, to, to hold this price support in here, I think would set up um, an opportunity for that upside move, notice that trend. Now I will say it's pretty volatile, it's a challenging chart to, tra to trade right now, but it is worth paying attention to because if, if the housing market is just gonna continue to rip to the upside, these are the material suppliers are going to need to participate as well. Now it's interesting that when we talk about that, when we see uh, stocks like Home Depot, running into a little bit of trouble here. We, we just can't seem to get a whole lot going, but there is a bit of a pattern here that may start to develop. Notice we've got that W formation starting to happen in here. So if we can break through this resistance in here and hold, then there may be some upside opportunity here in Home Depot. But once again, if, if we falter or fail here, on that, then I would look for that um, to actually break down below that that W formation in that chart. So keep an eye on that. So there's some contradiction out there in that housing area. If we were to take a look at Lowe's, now Lowe's is giving us maybe that little bit of hint that we are bullish here in this move, trying to push through that resistance here in the chart. Notice we got this little upside trend. It's been very, very choppy, but if Lowe's can push on through there, maybe Home Depot can as well push on through and hold a support in here. And I would look for that next upside opportunity in in the chart. Take a look at um, Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren's been running back to the upside. Notice we've got this little downtrend here in the chart we're trying to test, but with the strong move to the upside, if we were to pop through and then hold up here, that I would look for that upside opportunity. There again is that little W type formation and we've broken through the center of that. So holding up here could be really important for Ralph Lauren. Take a look at some of the steel stocks. 
steel have been has been trying to come up and despite the fact that the dollar has been um, uh, you know pretty flaky here um, recently moving around quite a bit notice that um, US steel slipped out from underneath that downtrend broke through there's another one of those little W formations pulling back here maybe to test some support in that chart but if particularly if we see the dollar continue to weaken look for some of these commodity prices to move back up so if we rest out in here and hold I would look for that next opportunity in US Steel you might take a look at um, stocks like CLF doing the same thing pushing through that resistance pulling back to hold support breaking through that downtrend I think these are all potentially setting up for a little upside move depending on what happens with the dollar if the dollar continues um, uh, strengthening we might see those um, commodity stocks struggle a little bit but if it starts to con uh, continue this downtrend here in the dollar then um, that would help inspire those stocks higher um, one I want to really point out here before I go um, take a look at wheat here um, whoops WPM is one that you want to be paying attention to for a short that's a nice failure here on the um, strength of the dollar popping back up we're seeing silver and gold uh, moving lower but what I meant to type in is wheat um, we've got this situation where Vladimir Putin may start to break his deal in allowing wheat to come out of Ukraine Ukraine is a massive supplier of wheat if you look right in here we've got a break of the downtrend we're breaking through resistance levels in the chart any rest or pullback in here I think would set up an opportunity uh, to pick up some upside in wheat so watch that one close with that everyone hey I'm gonna cut this off really quick I want to wish you all a fantastic day wish you all of the best be careful be safe have an awesome day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning and hopefully we'll see you over in the um, right way options open house make sure you click that link and register and come on over for the open house on Thursday Wish you all of the best today.